Meet Mr. Clark. Clark is an expert trainer in English communication. He takes training sessions across companies, colleges, and schools and has trained thousands of learners. Owing to the growing demand for online courses and live classes, Clark has decided to give it a go. His next session is going to be on public speaking do's and don'ts this Sunday afternoon with 80 to 100 management graduates. Why don't I do this online, he thought, and took it up as an experiment. After evaluating various online solutions, he signed up for WizIQ Virtual Classroom and LMS software to conduct his live session. Let's see how he creates his first online class on public speaking do's and don'ts with WizIQ Virtual Classroom. Clark signs up and lands on the home page of his WizIQ Academy. On this page, he clicks on the Options button at the top left to open the side menu. In the menu, he clicks on Live Classes to create his first live class. On this page, he clicks on the Create button at the bottom right, which takes him to the Create a Class page. Now, Clark needs to enter the details regarding his live class in the Create a Class page. He starts with writing the title of his live class as Public Speaking Do's and Don'ts in the title field. Then, he enters a short description of the class in the subtitle field. The title and subtitle will help his students understand the objective of the class. Now, Clark needs to state the starting time of his class in the date and time section. To do so, he selects the date on which he wishes to conduct his session in the drop-down calendar of the Starts On field. Then he puts the time of his class in the time field and selects Eastern Time as his time zone since he's scheduling his class from the U.S. East Coast area. Next, Clark scrolls down to write a description of his live class in the About the Class field. Here, he may give a brief of the objective, agenda, and benefits of the session. Clark can enroll his students to the live class in three ways. One, by submitting the email addresses of the students after the class is created, or two, by allowing access to students who sign up in Clark's WizIQ Academy, or three, by keeping the session open for anyone to join anonymously. To keep his class open to all, he selects the To All Visitors and Registered Users of the Academy option under Who Can Attend field. To keep his class free for all, he checks the Free Class option under Class Pricing section. The session recording could be reused in future, therefore he clicks Yes in the Record This Class field. He adds a relevant picture for his class, which will be displayed in his new class page. Lastly, under the Allow Attendees to Enter Class Without Sign-Up field, he selects Yes, as he is keeping his class open to all. After filling up the essential details, Clark scrolls down further and clicks Add More Information About Your Class section. Here, he enters the duration of his live class in the Class Duration field. Since he's expecting 80 to 100 students, he puts in 100 as the maximum limit for the number of attendees in the Max Attendees field. He selects the language of instruction as English and reviews the live class details thoroughly before moving forward. Once satisfied, he clicks the Schedule and Continue and moments later, a screen pops up saying Class Public Speaking Do's and Don'ts has been created successfully. He clicks close to exit and lands back on the live and upcoming classes page. On this page, he clicks on the refresh button to see his scheduled live class. Clark clicks on the view button to check the details of his scheduled class. Voila! Clark is now ready to take his first live session on WizIQ.